we used to have rudimentary methods of mining the gold, and that was not so destructive by our ancestors, by our grandfathers, our fathers. But for now, because of the use of technology, uh, a land that is given to somebody or a legal miner can just get into a land with his bulldozer or excavator and half a day he's devastated the whole land. It's not only in the land degradation, there is air pollution because they use mercury to amalgamate the, the ore to get their gold as a smelter. They also have what we call air pollution in terms of that. Then we have water pollution because they do especially with the alluvial washing within the riverine system and all that. Then the other thing is the food, food insecurity because uh, large tracts of arable land for food is used, is, is, is used for mining instead of for agriculture. People's cocoa farms are destroyed just for people to do mining and it has caused this nation in terms of uh, land mass and other things. But with the use of satellite imagery now, we are trying to look at some of those areas and see how we can be able to uh, repair them or rehabilitate them. And it's also we are also using now to be able to monitor what is exactly happening within some of the areas because you can go back to satellite imagery to see that a land within 2017 have been, not been degraded, but 2018, 2019, you can see the time frame and the span and see how the degradation is ex extending within that period using satellite imagery. So I think uh, it will help us to be able to do a lot of work in terms of monitoring, in terms of overseeing some of these illegal activities.